So it's time to talk boxing again on Highland, and once again, time to talk to Brett McGinty. Brett, as always, good to get speaking to you, and good to see you. Good to chat to you, Oshin. Big fight coming up, Brett. Uh, another on Irish soil. You're part of the Elite Shear promotion, The Return, which is taking place at uh, the National Stadium in Dublin. Before we look at that and talk about your opponent, uh, you, of course, are no stranger to that venue you fought there. Numerous times as an amateur, had some big nights, but on the professional stage, you were there back in uh, in November, and it was uh, something that you'll remember for the rest of your life, your first pro fight at home, Brett, and uh, you had the big support down with you, and you, and you got the victory as well. Ah, uh, brilliant, Oshin. Um, as you said, I'd been in the National Stadium many times, hey, fighting fighting in the amateurs over three rounds, but it was it was great to have my first in, in the pros. It was a different experience coming out for a six-rounder, but um, I've have that over me now. You know what I mean. I've that, <clears throat> I suppose that the wee bit of nerves of your first fight at home, and so it's kind of down to business now next week. And looking forward to another another good fight and hopefully another good performance. Were you really nervous for the occasion? Were you back then? But they, I was nervous. Nervous about um because I'd I'd about I'd over two hundred coming down to watch me. I suppose I'm kind of nervous of putting on a decent show. And I was lucky that the opponent that I fought came for a proper fight. To be fair to him, though, he was an Italian. We knew very little about. There was no footage of, of him at all. Um, literally didn't even know if he was South Power Orthodox. Um, until I got on the ring with him, so <clears throat> I was sort of a bit of an unknown. So there was a bit of nerves there, but now nah, thankfully he came for a fight. Hey, and we put on, we put on a proper fight, and I think those that came down to watch it enjoyed it. Yeah. Do you get nervous ahead of every fight, Brett? Because they say in sport that nerves is actually a, a good thing. Yes, you do have confidence, but it's always a an added bonus with a wee bit of nerves in there in the belly. Do you get that? Uh, you have a bit of nerves, definitely. Um, more so like on fight day, like when you're sitting around the hotel and waiting to go to the venue and that, you'll be a wee bit nervous or whatever. But once you start warming up and start getting in the zone, I suppose that kind of goes away then and Especially when the bell goes, it all goes out the window. But um, now nah, there's nothing wrong with a wee bit of nerves. It keeps you, keeps you sharp, and it keeps you ready to go. Yeah. So tell us, how did this bout come about for you? How did this fight come about on the, on the elite Shear promotion? Obviously, you're signed up with what Shear Sports who you are, and you're, and you're based in in England, despite them, of course, being in the the far coast of of America. But uh, at what stage did you know that you're going to be part of this return promotion, this return bill? Ah uh, well, I've been I've been talking to Jason fairly fairly regularly, and he was they were actually I think they were looking at around March time at the start to run the show, um but it was pushed back to to the first of April, which to be honest probably worked out in my favour because I had a wee I had a wee bit of trouble in the left hand after the last fight, but thankfully all good now, and I've had no trouble with it in the camp. But I think this is going to be the first of hopefully um hopefully many shows to come from from elite and sheer sports and hopefully shows in Ireland as well. You never know we might get one down in the northwest direction if, if we're lucky. Um that would be great. But now nah, hopefully this is the, the start of things to come and they'll be running shows more more regularly and and, and in Ireland as well. Yeah so it was it was easy enough to say yes to Jason Quigley was it? Uh definitely uh, especially when he's on the ball too. It's good um it's good for boxing in Ireland. It's good for Irish boxing. It's good for it's good for people in the Northwest who get the uh, chance. For, Don for Donegal people in particular. Uh, exactly. So, you know, the first chance to see him at home. Uh, he's fought for a world title and he's been at the pinnacle of sport and now's their chance to see him fight in Dublin again. Uh, he's plenty of successful nights himself in, in the National Stadium. So, hopefully the two of us will have another one now next Saturday. Yeah. Would you take advice from Jason, would you, Brett? I would, you know, Jason's he he's been around the block now, um, and pro boxing and boxing in general, um, he would he'd give me a lot of advice, um, and we actually we we done a bit of sparring, uh, for this camp together before I came over to England. Me and him sparred twice, and then one of the weekends I was home, we got a few rounds in as well. So it's good they they have his experience, um, help me along, and we can help each other out with a bit of sparring. Definitely, now it's uh, it's good to have. It's good to have his advice there, and you know it's good to be able to share the ring with him. Yeah, uh, you mentioned about the hand that you had a wee issue after the last fight. Does wee niggles worry you? Do they? Do they, Brett? Um, because when you pick up wee injuries, obviously it's going to play in the head at times. And when they when they appear and when they occur, do they worry you? Do they? Ah, well, to be fair, like it's one thing about boxing. There's always niggles here and there throughout camp. Of this camp, even of our own team, but. 
<laughs> that one I actually took into the fight the last time. Um, I missed my last bar because of it. So I just kind of had a feeling that would probably I probably would hinder me a wee bit, you know, when it did later on in the fight. But it wasn't. It was nothing to worry about, and I haven't had no trouble with um since in this camp. So all's good, ready to go for next week, and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm just looking at your opponent here, uh, Patrick Fiala. If I've said that uh, uh, correct, what do you know of him? Um, not a lot to be fair at the minute because the thing about we always say over here, me, Ricky, and Blaine, like we don't want to look too far into the opponents and go watching tapes because you can watch ten tapes and you can go into the gym the next morning and be told your opponents change, especially when you're fighting foreigners like he's from the Czech Republic, so. I'm looking at his record, he has a fairly decent record to be honest. That's the kind of fights I want now. I want you know step up opponents. He's five ones, three KOs, and three losses. So he's a one on record. Um, I'm sure he will come to fight, and that's what I want. Well, have good if things stay the same, which it's looking that they very likely will. Um, that it'll be him I'm fighting next Saturday. We'll have a good look at him. Um, now next week, see what he does well, see what he doesn't do so well, and make a game plan from that. Then we'll be. Be ready to rock. And in relation to your own performance, obviously you said you, you're, you're focusing a lot more on that. So you are, uh, Brett. Uh, each fight you're looking for improvement in certain areas. What what sort of improvement are you looking for now as you head into this one off the back of what took place over the last few? It's, well, don't, what I would like to do is just take what I've been doing in camp. <clears throat> Ricky told me the day that he, it's the sharpest he's seen me, and I do feel that. Like I've had a lot of eight round spars in this camp as well. I had three the last um the last three spars I've had have been have been eight round spars so I'm getting the rounds in and I'm getting them in well I'm feeling strong doing them so I want to take that into the fight I mean it's all well and good <clears throat> looking good in the in the gym and and sparring well but at the end of the day you have to do it on fight night you have to do it under the lights and that's what I think I'll do I'm looking forward to it um there's no reason there's no reason why I can't so that's up to me now to do that next week. Yeah. Listen, Johnson and Carrigan's going to be empty on, on Saturday week, are they? they all heading to Dublin again, are they? Ah, uh, well, there'll be a right few of them down anyway. Hopefully, make them plenty of noise. So. Yeah. And with all the Val Buffet people. What's that some mix, eh? <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully, they'll all stick together, and anyway. I'm sure they will. Yeah, and listen, it'll be a brilliant night, so it would for both yourself and Jason to, to take off ones on, on that occasion. But maybe looking further afield, Bray, uh, Brett, rather. Um, Come the end of the year, where would you like to be? Would you be like to fighting for for some sort of title, for some some sort of belt? And how many fights is it going to take you maybe to get to that stage? I uh, will like to be honest. I've just I've just they've just mentioned that the one of the calls we had there that at my weight, super welterweight, that the Celtic title has been vacated by the, the champion Owen O'Neill. He's from Belfast. He's vacated the title. So <clears throat> I mean, I would have fought him for it, but he's 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 vacated it. So so it's open now for. Pretty much for anybody that wants wants a wants a crack at it, and that the BUA consider good enough. So, like, I would fight for that next. To be honest, I've been pro quite a while now. To be honest, um, and it's been stop start for me, starting to get a bit of momentum. I mean, I'm happy. It's uh, it'll be an eight rounder because the Celtic titles on a rounder. I'll be happy enough to push for that next if they said they wanted me to fight again and then go for it. Fair enough, but I mean that's the kind of fights I want to be in. Domestic title fights over the last year or so in Ireland have been a complete success. You know, two Irish fighters coming to win, um, coming to put on a good show. And like, I'm not shouting out no names or whatever, but I mean, I'm sure there's somebody else in the country in a similar position to me that would say, you know what, I would like a crack at that, and you know, I'd fight in them to be honest. Yeah. Well, before that is to happen, or if there's going to be developments on that front, you have to get. Uh, through the next opponent on on Saturday week in in Dublin, so uh, things are looking good and confident, Brett. As we go to it, confident, Ashley, everything's went well. As I say, my camp's been brilliant, so no reason why I can't go on next week and put on a performance. And you know that's what I'm planning to do. Okay, no doubt you will. I'm sure you'll get another victory, and you'll go to seven and zero from everyone here at Highland, Brett. As always, we wish you the very best of luck. Thanks, Ashley.